Welcome, I'm Morgan Wright, Vice President for End-to-End -End Global Public Safety LTE Solutions for Alcatel-Lucent, and we want to welcome you today to our virtual trade show. The reason we're doing this is because Alcatel-Lucent provides an evolutionary mobile broadband technology that will change how public safety communicates, collaborates, and operates. We're pleased to be here today at the APCO 77th International Show, and along with me is my Senior Director for Public Safety, Wayne Evelyn. So what I did is uh, Wayne and I go back, we're both former law enforcement, we both love this stuff, but we wanted to change the game up a little bit. So I gave Wayne a challenge. I said, build me something, bring something together that's a game changer. And out of that was born Striker One. So Wayne, tell me about Striker One. Why did we come up with this and why does it, why does it look the way it does? So Striker One is a demonstration of the art of the possible. By creating a platform in a mobile environment that we can take into a trade show, we have the capability of showing the power of LTE and how LTE changes things for our public safety customers. Using band 14 LTE and devices, a whole slew of devices actually, that are carried within the truck, we can roll into a customer site, we can roll up onto the show floor, and we can open up the doors and show the power. We're going to show you later on today as we talk through this, all the different devices that we have capable with Striker One, and how they interoperate, how they work together, and how they bring a whole new way of doing business for our public safety customers, Morgan. And I think somebody got a little carried away, didn't they? We almost have an attack vehicle, right? Uh, what are we going to show here? Okay, so the, <laughs> the art of the possible includes a UAV. A UAV equipped with a high definition camera that can actually fly around. Now we're not flying this today just because of some dangerous considerations. We don't really want to make it an attack helicopter, but certainly a UAV with a high definition camera can help you penetrate areas that you may not be able to get to otherwise. So just one of the many tools that we're using within the Striker One combination, Morgan, to keep everything working very well together. Yeah, so I, I think what you're going to see here today is Alcatel-Lucent has taken this to a whole new level. We want to change the game because we want to change the outcome. And really what we're here for, again, LTE changes everything. We want to change how public safety communicates, collaborates, and operates. And I think that's what you're going to see here today. So what we're going to do is introduce you to a lot of the key members of our team. We're going to walk you through demonstrations. And then what we'll do is we'll come back and close up this trade show with you with some final thoughts. Hi, so now that you, Wayne and I have kind of introduced the striker to you, who I've brought is the mad leader of Wolfpack Delta. It's our demo team, Glenn Stites, and big, big Corvette fan too, what I add, right? Yes. Brand new Corvette? Yes, on its way. Uh, on its way. So, well, the only thing that goes faster than your Corvette is LTE, right? This is true. So let, tell us a little bit about the, what we have in here from an LTE standpoint and how the striker is built. Yep. Uh, basically what we have in the, uh, in the vehicle, it's a fully self-contained, uh, Band 14, public safety uh, LTE 4G system. Uh, in addition to that, uh, we have all kinds of servers and uh, various applications that we can go out and deploy very quickly. We can take the vehicle out and uh, basically plug it in, bring the base station up, and we're, we're on the air and ready to go. Yeah, so I mean, so the nice thing about this is that we've taken things that normally you deploy across, you know, big areas, you know, like with our commercial customers, but we've been able to condense this down. And what this really means to public safety is that if they roll this communications package out somewhere, they could, in a very short time, have a complete communications package with LTE, right? That's correct. Right, so, so tell us a little bit, too, about the, the way we built this. We've actually taken kind of some cutting edge technology with the 4G LTE technology, but we've also integrated some things in there like radios, right? And in fact, one of our partners, Raytheon, We've uh, got something unique here, too, because I think we're one of the first to integrate their ACU 5000. Right, and, and what the ACU 5000 allows you to do is to uh, interoperate with uh, P25 and LTE or conventional radio type systems that are in the field today and be able to interrupt seamlessly uh, with LTE as when we go out to the field. And I think once we get through, we're going to show some video demos uh, with Fred and Mike, but then when we come to you, what we're actually going to show, which is, I think is pretty cool, right? We're going to show again, using an iPad or an off-the-shelf technology, and we're going to be able to bridge that and have a radio communication with a handheld radio, right? Using the ACU 5000, is that right? Along with, uh, uh, out to an iPad. That's a beautiful thing, right? Yes, it is. All right, so hey, stay tuned. We're going to come back to you with that demo.
So I, th I think one of the neat things here is what we're doing is showing how you can use commercial off-the-shelf technology but address mission critical problems, right? So one of the things we've done is show how we can pull up multiple video surveillance streams, right? Using something like an iPad and Apple TV, we can actually broadcast this video, right? What's sure. an example? Of course, so a good example of this, we've been watching the videos on the screen. Our drone is actually simulating a response. We need to respond to an incident. The patrol car will begin responding and we can watch everything that the patrol car is doing as well as we are feeding the drone video over to the patrol car. So if it's a two-man unit as they're responding, one officer is able to watch what they're responding to being live, fed down from the helicopter to the patrol car, and we're seeing what's going on in the patrol car at the same time. And Fred, what we're, they also, the other nice thing about this, right, you can pick and choose the video you want to see and push that particular video out, can't you? That's correct. We're going to turn around to this other screen to my right, and I'm going to bring up and show you how that now maybe we've gotten to the scene or we've put somebody in the back seat that might be need to be shown to a victim of what occurred. What happens today is if we apprehend somebody, we either have to drive the victim to the car or the car to the victim, which means we might be securing somebody in the patrol car that might not even be the person we had wanted. So we wind up with liability there. We're able to end that. Be, with the control of a, an iPad, any, any sort of a tablet, we're demonstrating on an iPad today, we can push video by me tapping that, and you'll see we have the patrol car's back seat come up. Now, normally what would happen if they apprehended somebody, we had to bring the car to the victim or the victim to, to the uh, car. What's happening here now is we can show this and say, um, do you know the person that's in this back seat? Have you seen him? Is this the victim? And Fred, the other thing you can do too is that they may not know him, but maybe another detective or another officer in another jurisdiction says, do you know this guy? We could actually share this video with other jurisdictions anywhere in the country. That's correct. So we can push this video any place we may need to push it. It doesn't have to be just on this screen, but it could be a patrol officer whose vehicle is at the scene of the other incident. We can push it to his tablet, his computer. We can push it back, say if it's person we needed to see in the detective bureau, they said, who do you really have out there? We think you might have a picture of him. We could send this instantly, real time, live, push the video right back into the detective bureau. And I know we talked a lot about public safety, law enforcement, but, but also there's a lot of applications for fire as well. We could show video from a scene of a fire. We could do command and control and incident command with this. They could share information between different uh, people who are working a scene together, right? I mean, the possibilities with video are, are basically endless. Basically endless because we can then also use the camera on here if we wanted to. If we were near the scene, we could use this camera to send video in. Um, and we could do video conferencing together. And it basically, it used to be what you see is what you get, but now it's what I see is what you see, right? That's correct. So what I'm seeing, he's seeing, he's seeing, I'm seeing. Um, whether you're going into a scene, whether you're going in an emergency, the officer could take this with him any place. Could it take it to a home and send a picture live of somebody they want to show? And what we're showing here too is that we're just using mirroring that's coming out with Apple, right? But but what you see here, this screen could be anywhere. It could be in an EOC, it could be in a, a public safety vehicle, it could be in a command center, right? Sure, and I'm just showing you here today as I move this around. There, there, there's I'm our sorry. film crew, sorry guys. There's our film you're crew, never supposed to be but so as we're looking out further in the convention center here, um, this could be a live scene now that we're streaming any place over LTE. And if we turn at any it sideways, time. watch what happens. Now it goes full screen, and now we've got a lot That's more correct. video to show. 100%. So what becomes knowledge of one now becomes knowledge of all. That's correct. We can share it. Great job, Fred. Thank Great. you, sir. Thank you.